hello friends today we will continue with sets in that we will see about venn diagrams how to draw the venn diagrams so firstly what is the meaning of venn diagram so it is a geometrical representation of various types of sets and operations of sets so we are going to draw in the diagram all which you learnt that is union and intersection that all we are going to draw in the form of diagrams so how to do that firstly the subsets what is the meaning of subsets let a and b be any two sets and b is a subset this is a subset this is how we are going to denote the subset b is a subset of a this is subset okay denote we are going to denote subset like this this is b is a subset of a then every element of b is contained in a that means what for example here u is universal set 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the elements and a in that 1 2 4 6 are the elements and in b 1 4 is the element so subset means what it is denoted by b is a subset of a b is a subset of a means what that means all the elements of b that is 1 and 4 is contained in a also see 1 and 4 all the elements of b is contained in a then we can tell it as b is a subset of a so how to draw this in the form of venn diagram you can see here subsets so here this is a venn diagram how we are going to draw firstly this is the set a and this is the set b we have written set b inside set a because set a contains 1 2 4 6 so 1 2 4 6 all the elements are here and the outside is the called as the universal set the universal set what are all the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the elements should be there within the a set within the set a what are all the elements will there is there it is it will be there in this circle and what are the elements of b will be in this small circle that is b we have written b inside a why because b is a subset of a so all the elements of b is contained in a so that is why we are going to draw like this subset figure this is a diagram this is a venn diagram for the subset similarly union of sets so union of sets means what so in union of sets a and b will be any two set and union of a and b set means all the elements which belong to a and b together we are going to write that is only a union b a union b that is all the elements 1 2 3 4 is here 5 6 7 all the elements which are in a and b once only we have to write don't repeat it twice so all the elements which are in a and b we have to write this is only a union b so this one how to draw this as a venn diagram a union b you can see here a union b firstly we have to see which are all the elements which are in common which is the element which are in common that is intersection intersection means what which is common to both the uh, sets so which are all the elements which is common to both the sets 3 is common here 5 is common 3 and 5 are the elements which are present in both the sets so that 3 and 5 should be there in the middle firstly whenever we are drawing the venn diagram we have to see the one which is common we have to write which is going to share no common elements we have to write here in this middle because it belongs to a also belongs to b also then rest all numbers so rest all the elements that is in the set a leaving 3 5 what are other other two elements so 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 here and in b leaving 3 and 5 what are all the elements 4 6 7 so these elements we are going to write here and shading is very important here whenever we are telling that a union b we have to shade both a union b because together all the elements we are going to consider so we have to shade both a union b a and b both sets we have to shade this is how you have to you can draw in the union of sets similarly next is intersection of sets intersection of sets intersection of sets a and b is a set of all those elements that belongs to both a and b so here intersection means 
as I told, which are the common elements, common to both A and B. So, you can see what are the elements which are common to both A and B. B is common, D is common and E is common. So, this B, D, E we have to fill here and A and C which are left in A now. B, D, E already we have filled here. Only A and C we have to write here and here B, D, E has been filled. F, for, F is there. So, F here. But shading is important as I told. Intersection of sets means the common elements. Which are the common elements? These are the common elements. So, we have to shade only this part. B, D, E only this part we have to shade. This is how we have can draw the Venn diagram. Next is disjoint sets. Disjoint sets as already you know uh, from the, my previous video. Uh, A and B are the sets where no elements are common. No elements will be common. So, here in the set uh, A, 1, 2, 3, 4 are the elements and in set B, 5, 6, 7, 8 are the elements. So, there are no elements in common. So, that means A intersection B, you know that is intersection. We are going to denote it by A intersection B. There is no common elements means that is we can denote like this. That is a null set that is empty. It is empty set. A intersection B, there are no elements in common. So, we can draw like this. Uh, both are different. No common elements it is going to share. So, next is this difference of sets. Difference of sets, how to write this? So, here A they have given these are the elements, B these are the elements. A minus B means what? You have to see in the A, in the set A, which are the common elements which is in B. Leave those elements. So, 2 is common leave this element, 4 is here in B, leave this element, 6 also is there, leave this element, 8 is not there, take down and 10 is not there here in B, so take down. So, that is A minus B, A minus B, here also as usual how we are going to draw the Venn diagram, like that only I have to draw, firstly the common elements in the middle, 2, 4, 6, the common elements which belongs to both A and B here. Then what are all the left out elements in A after 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 here and after writing 2, 4, 6, 12 and 14 here we have to write down and shading is important as I told A minus B means only 8 and 10. So, only this part we have to shade that is only A minus B. Whenever it comes to B minus A, B minus A means what? We have to compare again you have to see here B set you have to see and 2, 4, 6 leave these elements because it is already present in A also. So, leave these elements which is not there in A uh, that elements we have to take down that is 12 and 14. So, 12 and 14. So, this is B minus A. B minus A means we have to shade here that I have not shown here but for A minus B you are shading this part. B minus A means you have to shade only this part. Next is laws of sets. Already you know about different types of laws that is commutative law, associative law, even in sets also these laws are there. That is commutative law that is A union B is equal to B union A. That means both the sides should be equal. Then only we can tell that this law is satisfied. Similarly for intersection also it is there. A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Next associative law A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. Similarly, A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B into intersection C. See, distributive law also A union B intersection C is equal to A union B, A union B intersection A union C. Similarly, A intersection B union C for this A intersection B union A intersection C. This is distributive law. One more law is there that is De Morgan's law, which are you are you are going to find out in sets only. This De Morgan's law A union B of complement of this A union B set is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Similarly, A intersection B of this complement of this set is equal to A intersection union B inter, uh, sorry A uh, complement union B complement. This is uh, De Morgan's law. So, next practice 9.2. If the universal set un, uh, universal set they have given A B C D E F G H and A set A B C D E F 
and set B A B C G H. So we have to find B minus A in of the complement of this. So firstly, B minus A complement means we will first find out B minus A. What is B minus A? We have to see the set B, and you have to see which is the common element. A is present in A, uh, uh, this set A. No, so we can take down. And B is present. Yes, leave that. C is present. Yes, leave that. G is not there in set A. No, don't take it down. And H is not there. Write down. So A G H is B minus A. Now, what is the complement of a set? Complement means what you have to see. You have to see the E universal set. A G H in the universal set. A G H. You have to leave this. And rest all the elements you have to take down B C D E F. So this is the complement of the set. Similarly, let U that is the universal set is X such that such that X is a natural number less than ten. So X is a natural number which is less than ten. That means it comes up to from one to nine. It will come because it is less than ten. So universal set contains All the numbers which come from one uh, to nine, then A is two, four, six, eight, and B is one, two, five, seven, eight. Then represent using Venn diagrams. So A union B is equal to what? A union B. Firstly, A union B means what? Both together we have to write all the elements which are present in A and B. So one, two, three is not there. Four is there. Five, six, seven. Eight. So these are the elements. Now we have to represent this in Venn diagrams. Similarly, what are all the common elements uh, which are in uh, A and B? We have to write in the middle, sharing both this A and B, sharing both uh, the elements. That is two and eight are the elements which is common to both the set two and eight. Next, what are all the elements which is left out? Four and six. Write down here. In the B part, one, five, and seven are the left out. Now, shading is very important. As you told, A union B means we have to shade fully because all the elements we are going to take. Right. So this is um, by using these values, by using the given data, we can draw the Venn diagram. But when they have given only the Venn diagram like this. Here they have given only the Venn diagram. By seeing the Venn diagram, you will be able to uh, find out what are all the elements which are present in each set. Now, by seeing the Venn diagram only, you can tell me what are all the elements of set A. You can see and tell me. Yes, five, uh, three, five, seven, nine are the elements of set A. What are all the elements of set B? Seven, nine, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. What are all the elements of set C? So it is zero, four, six, nine, twelve, and thirteen. Right. So now, what are all the uh, elements which are uh, common in both A and B? Common in both A and B is seven and nine. What are all the elements which are common in both B and C? Is nine, twelve, and thirteen. So what are all the elements which is common to all the three sets? That is here nine. Because this is shared by C also, B also, and A also, so that is nine. Nine is the element which is common to all the three sets. By seeing this Venn diagram, we can find out what are all the sets. So similarly, by seeing this, we can find out what is A union B. What is A union B? A and union B, both the elements of A and B. That is five, three, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. These elements. Similarly, we can write a intersection B. Also, we can find out as usual. Thank you for watching.